lot of pictures for Nevis outreach and stuff. And it's great. Okay, so we've already sterilized this. I'm just going to find my landmarks one more time, which I can feel. I'm not touching the top of the port where we just cleaned. So I could go anywhere in between there. Take my needle cap off. Come back again, just feel those margins of that. As long as I go right in the center of this, which I think is right about there, and I'm spreading. Here's yeah. the stick. It's going in, it's going in. There we are. Can you hear that click? Yeah, I heard that click. So and that's we're, it. We're definitely hitting I can let go of it now. Wow. And so now I'm going to push in a few cc's of saline. Okay. It's going really nicely, easily, and now I'm going to pull that back out, because okay. if you weren't in the port, uh -huh. you couldn't pull it back out. Okay. If you weren't in the port, it would look yellow-tinged or red, bloody Okay. Tinged. but we're in there. Cool. I could go past that 60. Uh -huh. If I had another empty syringe, pull 60 out, because there's already 120 in here. Oh. Clearly, we're in it. It's pulling, pushing in, pulling out really easily. So I am going to now just start to fill. Okay. Don't expect this. expect that you can do this really quickly because you're pushing sailing through a big syringe into, into a skinny a tube. tube. So yeah. it just it just doesn't go fast. Right. Okay. Um, would I worry right now about how the expander feels? Heck no. It's a big one. Uh -huh. We're getting at least sixty in there today, and okay. then we'll start to feel it after we've put sixty in there. Okay. Um, see what kind of a difference we could start to palpate. Okay. The difference of. You feeling anything, Stacy? No. Good. Oh. Did you feel the needle go in? Mm hmm Yeah. Not too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. Good. When you're really going to probably feel this more so is when you stand up. Yeah. You know, because the weight of these things will just oh, like, okay, yeah. drop down. So you got to really keep that on your mind to be careful. Mm -hmm. Even though it's just early right now, but still, it's something to keep in your mind. She didn't draw any landmarks, did she, that with how far down it mm -hmm. went? Okay. You mean like purple markers? Yeah. There she were. It was, yeah. She did, Um, they were down there, but I think I probably got it off oh, by yeah. now. Yeah. Do you remember how far down that was? Mm -hmm. oh. It was a little below the cheek. Okay, so was it below your sorry. cheek? That's okay. Kind of like down and down further. Down. So it really comes down your buttock, mm -hmm. the yeah. whole expander. Okay. okay. So this is empty. I have okay. my other syringe ready. I'm going to okay. just pinch this here. Twist this off. And of course, we don't want anything touching that tip. Okay. On there, and then just continue. Wow. <clears throat> That's Kim Kardashian still coming around. Oh, it's hot. Good. I'm telling you. She ain't got nothing on you. They're going to be asking for the Stacey Welch soon. Yep. So... <laughs> One thing, like I was explaining, what you look at when you're starting to fill these expanders is how is it feeling? Okay. How firm does it feel? You look at the capillary refill, which means you press Where? count 1,000, 2,000. Colors it's are already, already back. back. Good. You know, 1,000, 2,000. It's already back. Okay. If you've said 3,000 and you're getting up to 4,000, 5,000, uh -huh. it's still not coming back. Uh -huh. um, that means there's too much in there. You want that brisk, that capillary return to be reasonably, you know, short mm -hmm. within three seconds so that you're not um, so, putting too much compression on those vessels that okay. are surrounding this expander. So you're saying there was, there's too much, so then what? You just Well, you know, just as you're putting in, great question, you could pull it back out. Okay. Okay. Sometimes, and it's so rare, people have um, put too much in, or they thought they did, uh -huh. and they pulled the needle out, oh. and they're like, gosh, you know, I don't like the color of that. Yeah. I just yeah. don't like the way it feels. Uh -huh. Give it 15 minutes before you do anything, and typically it starts to pink up. Oh, cool. If it didn't, uh -huh. the worst thing is you'd have to go back in with an empty syringe, with a new needle, uh -huh. re-sterilize the area, yeah. access it, and draw some fluid out. Oh, okay. 
So there's a there is an answer. Or, there's yeah, a yeah, to it. yeah. And I'm telling you, it's very rare that they're overfilled. Right. Okay. Rare. Cool. If anything, it's underfilled. Yeah. And I could feel all of this like kind of coming in this wow. area. So we're stopping there. Okay. It's not a great example of like brisk capillary refill or any of that because uh -huh. these are big expanders. And right. They're in, you know. Can I take a couple of them to? Yeah. Before yeah. you really start to, so yeah. I always take a piece of gauze. And just gently put pressure right where my needle is, and just okay. nice and evenly, not Pull quickly, straight. come out. Okay. And then eject this. Oh, cool. Will, nobody will get stuck, so it's just a safety mechanism. Yeah, that's very good. Not, it would not be surprising for it to bleed at this site because we've gone through oh, skin, okay, but yeah. it's not. Wow, you can't even see where it was unless right you there. look. So oh, yeah. Really little. Good job. That's it for that side. Okay, now that's already been cleaned with gauze, cleaned with alcohol, and now we're going to go sterilize it with the chloroprep. And you know, I could feel the edges of this so perfectly, like there. So I would like go right on the right, tip of the red. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Right there is perfect. Okay. So you could go wash your hands. How's the video look? It's great. We got we got mama scrubbing. I can feel like the fold of this expander over here. Which will round out. You know, sometimes you can feel the edges of these expanders. Mm -hmm. And um <clears throat> it unfolds it like it rounds out after you've uh filled it more. So if we ever get a corn like that, let us know okay. because there's different ways that we'll deal with that. But I don't think I could feel uh Folds here, but that's gonna round out oh, because yeah. it's gonna fill up. Okay, so now we're gonna scrub that 30 seconds on one side, keeping it just in the area of where you know you're gonna inject. We don't need to clean the whole back or surrounding right. area, don't waste the chloroprep on that. And you can flip that over, yep, and do 30 seconds there. Again, keeping it more central. There you go. It's perfect. Good. Good. Yep, yep and now go over to the wall and Get clean your, your hands. You should feel more doing that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And then when that dries, then this is dry. Go on to her hands, yeah. yeah. So as soon as your hands are dry, that means this port side has set okay. and it's okay to access. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Get over here, Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> and rem just remember, you're going to grab it by the wing or both. Whichever you yeah. can. It looks like a dart. She's yeah, getting that's ready exactly to throw. That's how you want to hold it because yeah. if you go and grab it like this, your hands. Yeah. In the that would be me field, like last you know, time so when I did that other one. Like that or one at a time, whichever yeah. you're comfortable. And then that cap just pulls off okay. if you've gotten this in a good. Are you right handed or left? I'm right handed. Okay. I see. You, you can, you know, you can just lay it on her. Yeah. Does this twist off or just straight off? Uh -huh. Okay. And again, in the same, you know, kind of.